Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The word aeon, also spelled Ian in American and Australian English, originally meant life, vital force, or being generation or a period of time, though it tended to be translated as age in the sense of ages, forever, timeless, or for eternity. It is a Latin transliteration from the ancient Greek word alphanu, hoaion, from the archaic alphanu, iwan, meaning century. In Greek, it literally refers to the time span of 100 years. A cognate Latin word evum, cf alphanu, for age is present in words such as eternal, longevity, and medieval. Although the term aeon may be used in reference to a period of a billion years, especially in geology, cosmology, and astronomy, its more common usage is for any long, indefinite period. Aeon can also refer to the four eons on the geologic time scale that make up the Earth's history, the Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, and the current aeon, Phanerozoic. Astronomy and Cosmology in Astronomy An aeon is defined as a billion years, 109 years, abbreviated E. Roger Penrose uses the word aeon to describe the period between successive and cyclic Big Bangs within the context of conformal cyclic cosmology, philosophy and mysticism in Buddhism. An aeon, or Mahakalpa, Sanskrit, Ma is often said to be 1,334,240,000 years, the life cycle of the world. Yet, these numbers are symbolic, not literal. Christianity's idea of eternal life comes from the word for life, Z, Zeta Omega, and a form of Aeon Alphanu, which could mean life in the next Aeon, the kingdom of God, or heaven, just as much as immortality, as in John 3, verse 16. According to Christian Universalism, the Greek New Testament scriptures use the word aion, alphanu, to mean a long period and the word anion, alphanu iodomicronu, to mean during a long period. Thus, there was a time before the eons, and the Ionian period is finite. After each person's mortal life ends, they are judged worthy of Ionian life or Ionian punishment. That is, after the period of the eons, all punishment will cease and death is overcome, and then God becomes the all in each one. 1 COR 1528. This contrasts with the conventional Christian belief in eternal life and eternal punishment. Occultists of the Thelema and Ordo Templi Orientis, English, Order of the Temple of the East, traditions sometimes speak of a magical aeon that may last for perhaps as little as 2,000 years. Gnosticism in many Gnostic systems, the various emanations of God, who is also known by such names as the One, the Monad, Ion Telios, the broadest aeon, Greek, Alpha Nu Talamd Epsilon Omicron, Bythos, depth or profundity, Greek, Beta Upsilon Theta, Prork before the beginning, Greek, Pyro Omicron Alpha Rokai, Archi, the beginning, Greek, Rokai, Sophia, wisdom, and Christos, the anointed one, are called eons. In the different systems, these emanations are differently named classified, and described, but the emanation theory itself is common to all forms of Gnosticism. In the Basilidian Gnosis, they are called sonships, Upsilon Tide Topsilon Huiotites, singular, Upsilon Tide Wyotes. According to Marcus, they are numbers and sounds. In Valentinianism, they form male-slash-female pairs called syzygies. Greek Sigma Upsilon Zeta Upsilon Gamma Phi Iota, from Sigma Zeta Upsilon Gamma Macron Iota Syzygoi.